Hello everyone, welcome to Fantasy Lighthouse and welcome to Abuela Soyla's room. And I wanna say thank you for allowing me to grow in different areas in this channel. I'm very appreciative and for that, today I'm doing $10 per question today only. All of that information will be in the comment section. All right, so let's take a look at what Taurus needs to know. Please speak to me in reference to what Taurus needs to know. We're getting a lot of Aries energy, okay? Tell me more about what Taurus... The Page of Cups, somebody wants to be nice to you. They want to give you something. They want to be friends. They want to get on your good side. I don't know if this person said something to you recently that threw you off. This person is just trying to find a way to make things better is what I'm getting, okay? Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Seven of Swords energy, you don't trust it or you don't trust this person, even if you are into them and even if you do um, have some kind of relationship, you still think that they're up to no good is what I'm getting here with the Seven of Swords energy. Remember that Mercury, the planet of communication, which is ruled by Gemini and Virgo, is in Capricorn, all right? And so a lot of our communications are going to feel a bit toxic or there are going to be things that people said to us that, especially right now, we are going to be questioning. Also, the planet of love and beauty, which is ruled by Taurus and Libra, is in Capricorn as well. So things that have to do with love, things that have to do with, you know, your aesthetics or the way that you view something could also bring about some confliction. But remember, those two planets, Venus and Mercury, happen to be with Capricorn right now, okay? So I know that it's been a bit heavy for the past, I'd say, week, right? It's like you're looking for some positive energy or some reinforcement. You're looking for someone to give you the right words. Sometimes when you come to these readings, you're looking for inspiration and we keep getting the same cards that come out and it's nothing but a downer, right? But I'm the type of reader that I'm always going to be as real as I can. I, you can't come here and, and get a happy reading every day. You know, that would be me being fake if I were to do something like that. And so um, I have a lot of great relationships with my clients because of how candid I am, right? So I feel like there's someone here that you don't trust, even if you communicate with them um, the energy feels like they're hiding something from you, whether it be a family member, friend, whomever it is, right? These readings, like I always say, are not all of the time in reference to love, okay? Tell me more. Tell me more about what Taurus needs to know. The Three of Cups, yeah. So you have some person that might have gotten on your bad side, whomever that is, okay? Think about everyone that you know. It's like they are desiring to come back and reunite or get along. They don't want to lose this camaraderie or whatever it is that you guys had going on, all right? Because I have the Page of Cups, there's the offer and then the three of cups. So it's like, can I come together with you? But then with the seven of swords, you don't trust them at all. You view them as doing whatever it is that they want and then forgetting about how you feel, right? And it's crazy because you're always there for this person whenever they need you. It's like whenever they call, whenever they text you, you respond, you pick up the phone. But it's like when you look for them, they're never there. So I feel like this is the person, that person that is never there when you need them, 
That's the person that's going to try to be nice to you so that they can come together in some way or they could be inviting you somewhere. It's like they're trying to make you feel better because they know that they've done something wrong. All right. Tell me more about what Taurus needs to know when it comes to this person. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Pressure, a lot of pressure from someone. Pressure from the Two of Swords, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, there's something that they're blocked off to right now, all right? With the Two of Swords coming out here, they may not be obliging to what it is that you would like for them to do, okay? And they have their reasons, but I do see them thinking about what you said with Pisces energy, but there's something that a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius does not agree with, all right? Let's take a look at the air signs. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the air signs dealing with Taurus. How does Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius feel about Taurus? All right, so they view you as the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They view you as highly valuable, someone who is stable, consistent, productive, energetic, you know, worth being around. All right, so... They understand your value. I feel like they're just a bit critical right now of you, okay? It's like they're asking you to revise something about yourself. They love you to death and um, you mean the world to this person, but they're asking you to change something, okay? When it comes to you dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Tell me more about how the air sign feels about Taurus. The seven of pentacles. Yeah, you're all up in this person's energy. So um, again, they want to see you grow in some certain capacity. So they're looking for expansion, but they're waiting on you. And I don't know what they're waiting for you to do, but this person is kind of like trying to push you in a certain direction and they may be feeling resistance from you. Okay, so um, they're looking for you to change something about yourself is what I'm getting, okay? Whether you want to do it or not, I'm just expressing the energy. So let's talk about those Taurians that are dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Spirit, please talk to me about... Whoa. Okay. Well, you got the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Wands. The potential is clearly there for you and another earth sign to come together, all right? The Knight of Wands is looking at the biggest cup of love, ready to take action. It may seem a, a bit rocky, but what I'm getting here is that this will improve for you and another earth sign right now, okay? The feelings are mutual. I feel it, okay? Um, and the Ace of Cups is a beautiful confirmation when you're trying to verify if someone is really into you or not. So I believe so, if that's what you're wondering, okay? Tell me more about Taurus and another Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Tell me more about Taurus and another Earth sign. The Sun. Big power couple star energy all right um very just a whole lot of recognition you know popularity there's a lot of strength here no one can stop this who can stop the sun look at it like that so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a lot of potential with another earth sign is what I'm seeing here. Okay. Now let's take a look at Taurus dealing with a water sign. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Taurus and another water sign. Spirit, please talk to me about Taurus, 
with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. How does this water sign feel about Taurus? Justice. Looking to have the balance. Looking for there to be peace. For some of you, they're interested in marriage or making you a part of the ceremony. If it's not in reference to love, then you're a part of the network. You're a part of that board. Your presence is necessary in that meeting. There's like an auditorium of people and you're a part of what they wanna create. So heavy Libra energy. Okay, it could be dealing with a Libra as well. Tell me more about how the water sign is viewing Taurus. How does the water sign? Queen of Cups. Okay. So it's almost like this person is just praying for this reconciliation or for things to get better. You know... I just feel them really emotional and talking to other people about how they hope things can get better, okay? Tell me more about Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Taurus. Tell me more about Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and yeah, they want, look, Eight of Pentacles, they want to work. That's what they want to do. They want to work on this with you. Um... Tell me more. Yeah, nine of pentacles, see? You know, this person, they definitely do not want to miss this opportunity. And if they feel like they've done something wrong, then they want to do everything in their power to fix it, Taurus. Okay, if you're dealing with a water sign and um, they support you 100% and, and they want to see you win. Okay, they definitely want to see you win. And um, if there is some sort of discord, then they're trying to figure out how to repair the situation. Okay, talk to me about the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. How do the fire signs feel about Taurus? Talk to me about Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. How does Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius feel about the fire signs about the fire signs i mean about taurus <laughs> the wheel of fortune they feel like there's a lot of luck coming to you that you're very successful in whatever it is that you're pursuing that you are just really illuminated illuminating um, you are at the center of attention is how they are viewing you. Tell me more about how the fire sign views Taurus. How does the fire sign? The lovers. Okay, so you got a fire sign that's definitely in love with you. Or, you know, they want to be around you. They want to get with this good luck that you have going on with the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Tell me more about how this fire sign feels for Taurus. The Empress. Look at you. All right. So you're all up in this fire sign's energy. They would like to expand with you. They want to nurture this connection. Even if this person is absent, they definitely miss your presence and I feel like they're proud of you in some way. Okay, one more card. The Page of Pentacles. So you can expect communication from this person. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. I want to thank you so much for watching to book your private session. All of that info is below. $10 per question today only. Thank you and take care.